Verizon is set to buy online services company AOL for $4.4 billion. Early reports show that Verizon is overpaying by roughly $4.4 billion. <laughs> With over 150 million views, Derek Muller. Sometimes the simplest questions have the most amazing answers. I was really into science, but I also love filmmaking, and that was kind of my dream, was to make films about science. You've been to some of the most radioactive places on Earth. Let's take a look at this. Driving into the Fukushima exclusion zone now. Keep an eye out for Derek's new documentary on PBS. Thank you for being here, Derek Muller. Yeah. To keep track of all of the awesome crowdfunding projects from this week, first up we have Marlboro Candles. We haven't made any of these up. Spirandles. Spurs for your sandals. Anyone who watched Ghostbusters and thought, that was a good documentary, then this product is for you. Ghost Hunter turns your smartphone into a device that will detect nearby ghosts. Hopefully, it will also detect nearby Walgreens so you can pick up your meds. Who doesn't love SpongeBob SquarePants? This project is going to put a life-size pineapple at the bottom of the ocean. Well, hopefully it's not a life-size one because a life-size pineapple is just a pineapple. <laughs> My next guests are co-founders of an LA-based game development studio, Tian and Josh. They're so lonely over here. We'll do the first question from here. How did you start this gaming company? Live via satellite, it's Hergen Jürgen, the IKEA factory robot. <laughs> The last thing I bought at Ikea was actually missing some pieces. That's the Ikea seal of approval. How do you name your products? We take normal words and add squiggly lines and dots to them. <laughs> You're going to love these guys. Check them out on SoundCloud. It's Oliver Riot. Here we are at the 3D printing pancake machine. So what we see here is a uh, robotic spider dress. A megabot is a 15 foot tall giant fighting robot. Found a DeLorean and we found the maker. I studied mechanical engineering with focus in manufacturing and electronics. So. <laughs> oh, you good thing. Engineering's got a branding problem, right? A lot of people think of like pencil ties and lab coats. The reality is it's all much more awesome now. So there's lasers and fire and robots and all the sort of big stuff you can make. I think we're going to see a wonderful two-step here however no he's up on his down he's fallen on his back 3d printed we're in stealth mode actually means we haven't built anything <laughs> we're about to pivot we built the wrong thing <laughs> I'm here with Nick from Intel. Walking to the pantry through the kitchen. Here he goes, no, he's bumped into the fridge and he's fallen over. Instead of interviewing actors and musicians, we interview engineers and scientists. I ended up getting a dual degree in um, aerospace and mechanical engineering. <laughs> I'll see you in the future on the next episode of The Tomorrow Show. Good night! <laughs>